everybody, it's Miss Custom Reacts, and welcome to my channel today. We're going to be reacting to Top 10 Unexpected Movie Deaths. Let's begin. It goes without saying that this entire list is one giant spoiler, so spoiler alert. Obviously. Number 10, Carolyn Fry, Pitch Black. This flawed hero crash lands on a deserted planet with primitive criminal Riddick in tow. Clearly the protagonists were meant to root for, Fry spends the movie keeping him and the shady monsters at bay. So we shouldn't be shocked that she bites it. But, Fry, we are. Just as she redeems herself, that sense of they're gonna escape sets in. Then, boom. Down with less than five minutes left. Oh, Number shit. Nine, Dick Halloran, The Shining. Oh, The Shining. Oh, yeah. Without I've heard about that. You don't even know what The Shining is, but that's all he's good for, even though they make it look like he'll save the day. He comes running from his sunny hideaway after Danny Torrance shines to him when his dad goes full axe murderer. Oh, but, yeah. Well, it doesn't work out too well. Who the fuck's a kid? That's a gruesome fate. Number eight, Julian Taylor, Children of Men. Even if you'd read the book this is based on, you would have been surprised because it's completely different. When you see someone like Julianne Moore in the trailer, you presume she's going to serve an important purpose in the film. We guess her function here is to show how hopeless the world can become after 18 years of female barrenness. As she's unceremoniously off while trying to escape an ambush. Drive at them! Dumbass. Number seven. Holbin Wash Washburn, Serenity. Fans of the cancelled but cult hit show Firefly got to catch up with their beloved characters in this film. And you'd think that'd be a good thing. But we figure most enthusiasts were not expecting that some of those characters would end up impaled by a reaver harpoon. We'll explain. Okay. How about a leap over the wind? What does that mean? After a tense flight and even tenser landing, Wash reaches his zen. I'm a leaf on the wind. And dies. Watch. <laughs> Seriously, screw you, movies. Number six. Yep. Matt Feldheimer, burn after reading. Appearances can be deceptive. Brad Pitt is no stranger to unexpected movie deaths. Between playing What's in the Box with John Doe, What's in the f***ing Box, or ping-ponging between cars minutes after he's introduced to meet Joe Black, he's shocked <laughs> us before. But, oh, yeah, but... the time his buddy Clooney accidentally kills him that gets us most. <laughs> No matter what happens, this will always be the movie where Brad Pitt gets shot in the face. Number five, Vincent Vega, Pulp Fiction. I can blow. Oh, oh I actually heard. I actually heard about this one. Every time my fingers touch mine, I'm super fly TNT. I'm the god of the narrow road. John Travolta is on both ends of unexpected death in this Tarantino mindbender. Tyler. First comes when he and fellow hitman Sam Jackson are I actually heard about Pulp Fiction. When... Oh, oh, man. Oh, man, I should have thrown it in the face. What? You do that! Well, I didn't mean to do it as an accident. Well, Vincent Vega's own untimely demise is also a WTF moment, considering he's a main character. Surprise! An hour in the movie to go. Surprise, motherfucker. Dang, yo. Holy Number shit. Four, Lieutenant Colonel Austin Travis, executive decision. We thought it was in Steven Seagal's contract that he could not die. Like, look at this cast of characters. You've got the ass-kicking oh. wearing weed, some geeky guy in glasses, Halle Berry, and a guy called Rex. Who do you think dies? But Seagal does go out in style by sacrificing himself to save the others and being sucked into oblivion, like 40 minutes in. Well, that's the inevitable. Adios. Number three, 
Harry and Crane, Psycho. Today's generation has seen this death scene so many times. Oh, uh, I actually. You know, knife, oh. violin. Holy shit! But consider this: in 1960, in Hitchcock's movie, which was marketed sh on the strength of the star Janet. Holy Lee. shit! You actually get to the theater, and after tons of buildup, see she gets it in the shower halfway through. Quite the switcheroo, we say. Oh. All right. Dang, yo. Number two, Billy Costigan, The Departed. This will kill me. This will kill me. I am killing you. If you're actually able to keep up with this movie, and it's a multiple good guy, bad guy mold, you know Billy Costigan is one elevator ride away from being out of the undercover cop business. And you think Matt Damon's gonna buy the farm. But then the doors open, Leo's brains go flying, and details that explain what the hell is going on flood in. Surprise! Yeah, the end's a shocker too. Oh shit! Get out of the way, man! Well. That's not even that. It's not even that shocking. You're already... Nobody plays the angry guy who gets. Tell me something. If that was an unexpected movie death, you knew he was gonna get shot because you see that the guy just pointed a gun directly at him. Like, what would make you think he wasn't? Dismembered by cheeky animals like Sam Jackson. However, uh, he's still reeling from his demise in Deep Blue Sea. Oh yeah. In the middle of the well, that big well, that the biggest shark. shark bait are not gonna die, he does. Surprise. And when the main main character ends up swimming with the genetically mutated fishes at the end, forget about it. Yeah, like Yeah, there is like the Do you agree with our list? Well, there was that one death from like Avengers, like Agent Coulson. That was pretty unexpected, where like Loki comes right up behind him, and boom, dead. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say the one thing, the one death that really got me. Was like the one from like Walking Dead, where like one of the characters was, where they're, like they're all like inside this like little row, and then they and then like and then all these zombies, all these walkers start coming in, and then they and then they eat their ass. Man, that's crazy. All right, everybody, that was the video, and bye.